G'day guys, Michael from Sailing for Power here. For the past 20 years, my partner Jesse and I have been documenting our spearfishing adventures. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to get started spearfishing in Sydney. Sydney is home to over 5 million people, a majority of which have no idea about the amazing marine environment right on their doorstep. Spearfishing in Sydney is a fantastic activity that if practiced correctly is safe, sustainable and a super addictive way to get fresh seafood. There is an abundance of tasty seafood to target off Sydney including brim, kingfish, drummer, red rock cod, dolphin fish, sea urchins, abalone and much more. And the best part is, you don't even need a boat. So you're keen, but how do you get started? It can all seem a little intimidating at first, but there are plenty of Spiros in Sydney willing to show a newcomer the ropes. The best way to get started is visit your local spearfishing club. There are over seven Sydney-based clubs that hold monthly meetings. Your best bet is to find one in your local area and pop into a meeting to see what it's all about. Alternatively, you can visit the Adreno store in Mascot. There isn't much to do with spearfishing that isn't sold there, and you can get hands-on experience with all the different gear. Their experienced staff will be able to help you out and point you in the right direction. Chances are you'll probably meet other keen spearos there. There are a few very important things to consider when starting spearfishing, safety being number one. Obviously, there are a few risks involved, including shallow water blackout, boat traffic, dangerous marine creatures, and currents, just to name a few. Taking an accredited spearfishing and freediving class is highly recommended. Secondly, there are several areas and species that are off limits to spearfishing. The most common protected species you'll come across is likely going to be a blue groper. When blue, they are easy to distinguish, but be aware, smaller groper can come in a variety of colors, such as brown, yellow, and a dark orange. They are all protected. Some protected areas can include all inland waters, some estuaries, and every beach except for the last 20 metres at each end. You can only spearfish while freediving, catch craze with your hands, and it is illegal to use a torch while spearfishing in New South Wales. You also have to keep 50 metres away from other swimmers, snorkelers, scuba divers, and fishermen. If you want to fish in New South Wales, you'll have to purchase a current New South Wales fishing licence. If you want to go spearing in an unfamiliar area, make sure you check with the New South Wales DPI website and the Marine Parks Authority to make sure there's no restrictions that may apply. There is a fantastic free guide to spearfishing in New South Wales that covers all of this in great detail. I'll attach the link below. To summarise, Sydney is a great place to start spearfishing, with easy access to a lot of sheltered areas and lots of tasty and challenging species for divers of all skill levels. I started my spearfishing journey in Sydney over 20 years ago and that one decision has given me a lifetime of amazing experiences. Thanks for watching, hopefully that gave you a bit of an insight on how to start spearfishing in Sydney. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to join us in future episodes where we dive deeper into targeting some of Sydney's most prized species. Till then, get out there and enjoy everything Sydney diving has to offer.